Hi, this is Kate the Miku fan and we are here at Sunnycon part 2. If you haven't seen the first part, I highly recommend you do that because it'll give you more context as to what's going on. Okay, so this is Saturday the 22nd of uh, June and we're just making our way to the venue right now. I am Hatsune Miku. Woohoo! Yesterday I was I from Oshinoko, which is a manga slash anime series. To be honest, I've never seen the anime. I've read the first couple of volumes and I love it. I can't give away too much of what's happened because that's spoilers, but it's actually really good. I highly recommend that. Okay. I'm just crossing the road. It's so sunny. Very, very sunny. Phew. This is the venue, St. James Park Stadium. Pretty huge from over here, isn't it? So we're gonna go in and see what happens. Now this is the calm before the storm. Um, it's interesting, like yesterday, it was quite busy because it was just before opening. And you could see like there were two lines forming in the entrance. One was VIP and then one was, I think it was general. So basically to gain entry if you're a VIP, Show you wristband. It should be very relatively straightforward. I found a Miku. Yeah. Hi! So, um, which Miku are you dressed up as? Uh, the Kangol Miku or K Angel Miku. <laughs> I call her Kangol. Oh, cool. Yes, I'm tiny and I like her very much. She sparkles in the sun, but there's no sun in here. Oh, nice. Yes, the wing is already very destroyed, but we live, we breathe, it's fine. Is this your first comic? Sorry, Sunny Con. Uh, no, I've done two before, 2019 and whatever last year was. <laughs> uh, okay, I think that was 2022 if I remember rightly. Whatever last one was. Yeah. Do you yeah. And then this year. <laughs> and um, do you like Sunny Con? Sunny Con good. Sunny Con good. <laughs> you don't have a social media, do you? Um, not one that I really use now. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fair. Cool, so this is Hatsune Miku. Oh my god, we are two Mikus. <laughs> Mikus yeah. What do you think, Miku? <laughs> yes, it looks amazing. You look amazing. Thank you, Miku. Would you like a cuddle? I would. Miku cuddle. Oh, she's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a sucker for Miku plushies. I love them so much. Which is your favourite plushie? I think mine is, I don't know what year she is, she's one of the Magical Mirai, my boyfriend got her for me for Christmas, oh, she's wow. so soft, she's on my bed in the hotel room, oh, <laughs> she's cool. the one I forgot to bring, but she's really soft, really cute. There's like so many plushies, I think I there know, was a joke. my favourite line is the Sega Fua, them ones, I love them, everyone else loves them, so they're so expensive. <laughs> There was they big ones. Yeah. Massive, massive ones. They're really expensive. I've seen like a huge one that was like seven hundred dollars, which is ridiculous. Did you see have you is this your first day this time around? No, it's yesterday. Uh, I went yesterday. Yeah, did you see the massive Miku Nendoroid? Yeah. Really incredible. I was like, I can afford that but I cannot get it back with me. No. <laughs> we were travelling like two or three hours, I cannot get that Jeez. back with me. Is that on the train? Yeah. Oh god. We've got L and E R though, so it's not too bad, it's all air conditioned. Not the worst journey in the world, yeah. but there, there is no Miku room on an LNER train. Okay, so that's interesting, another Miku. I wonder if there's more Mikus. Can I turn it into a drinking game, like drink every time there's a Miku? If there's that many Mikus, we could be flawed. Plus drinking is for 18 plus. So parents don't sue me because I have warned you. So this is the itinerary. Don't think there's much happening in the morning except Double sub. I really want to see the Meow yeah, Call Rosie. This one was a good performance because this is the um, the performer who uh, did it last year, I think. Turn around, there is a Miku in our midst today. Look at those snacks, aren't they unique? Wouldn't you think my wallet is going to bleed? And there's some rice salts. Miku, what have you put that down? I mean it, put it down. Yeah, very funny, put it down. Put it down. Are you trying to be a samurai? Yes. Put it down, please. Okay, don't listen to me. Okay. 
Okay, here's a lot of plushies, and I asked me, Miku, you're taking a bad influence from your sister. Get out. You're going to be on sale. You could be sold by accident. So watch it. Okay, that. That is a lot of plush. Is that the bread? Is that a bread? Uh, Miku, I don't think that's real. It's not real. It's not real. I'm sorry. It's not real. It's just a plushie. Okay, that is not real either. That's a uh, bubble tea plushie. And so is that one. So many plushies. And then there's a Miku. Come on, out you go. Out you go. You're not for sale. You know, that hat looks good on you. It looks very good on you. Hi, um, have you guys seen um, Hatsune Miku? She's a bit like me, but a little bit smaller. No, I've never seen her. No? Um, no? There she is. There she is. <laughs> you monkey, what are you doing back there? I think she was trying to steal all the stuff. Yeah, I think she was. You're stealing the stuff? <laughs> she must like it. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Anything shiny to be. Oh, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. She could be singing uh, the shiny song from Moana if she's not careful. She, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so you guys have been like regulars at SunnyCon, is that right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah we, last every few year. Years, yeah. yeah, so one of the best conventions that I do like this convention. How would you describe uh, SunnyCon? Um, a really nice, chilled out environment. Everyone's lovely here. Yeah. yeah. So, and there's loads of beautiful stalls as well. Yeah, lots of panels and stuff, lots to do here. How many uh, times have you been to SunnyCon? I think this will be like... Is it about six? Now? Yeah, six, yeah. Six so, years? Yeah, yeah. Definitely one that I always try and make an effort to get here. Oh, well, that's yeah. cool. And you make these yourself as well? I do, yeah. I hand make them all from polymer clay and resin. Um, by me. Lots of late nights. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Train up for three o'clock in the morning to try and get them all made up. So, yeah. So, this is Kawaii Cutie, is that right? It is, yeah. And yeah. Do, do you have a social media as well? Yeah, I've got um, a card there. My Instagram on, my Facebook, and my Etsy. Yeah. 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 I also, on the Instagram, I do a lot of making of videos so you can see the process of how I make ah, okay. all the items as well. So if you, um, if you want to have inspiration, guys, if you want to have, like, new earrings and stuff, these guys are the best ones. And Miku agrees. Very clearly, to an unhealthy degree. Thank you. You want a pet? You really want a pet? I don't think we're allowed pets. No, Miku, no pets. We're not buying any pets. No, 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 don't, don't give me those puppy eyes. It's not happening. No, we're not, we're not getting pets. No, I'm sorry, we're not getting pets. Oh, I'm sorry, Miku. Sorry, but we're not getting pets. How are you going to feed it? You have to feed it and wash it and cuddle it. Maybe take it for walks. Yeah, it's all of responsibility, you know. So many plushies, so many pillows. And then there's a Miku. You're not getting a waifu pillow either. Come on. Come on. Don't make me pull you. Don't make me pull you. Come on. Come on. There's a bit of resistance from you. Come on. Hey, Miku, look. I think that's your sister. Aww. How are you doing, your little sister? Yay! <laughs> Is this your first SunnyCon? <laughs> oh, how are you finding it? Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so, is this your stall? Yes. This is all my little artwork I do. <laughs> Which is your favourite Vocaloid? I'm a massive... I like Luca. Ah, okay. Funny enough, <laughs> but I do love Hatsune Miku. She is my baby. Oh, which ones are this uh, Miku again? Because there's, there's so many. The Sukul one. Ah, okay. Yes, it was originally a figure, and then they made it into a plushie as well, which is I think so fun, like funky. <laughs> yeah. 
Is this your first uh, sunny con here? Yeah. How are you finding it? Um, it's exciting. It's like it's very different compared to the ones I've been there. It's a lot more people. Everyone here is really kind as well, and it's been a generally like a really fun experience. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. But thank you. You also have um Oshinoko eye as well. Yes. I was actually wearing her yesterday. Oh my god! I saw your cosplay. You are amazing. Oh, thank you. You guys look amazing as well. Thank you. Yes, I'm with my little helpers today. <laughs> And uh, what's your social media? Do you um, have a social media? Vampiro Art. Vampiro Art. Yes. So that's Vampiro. So you have a social media? Yes, Instagram, TikTok, the whole shebang. <laughs> so yes, thank you so much. Would you come back for Cinecon next year? Oh, definitely. I hope so. I really hope so. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm sorry, Mika. We can't take her with us. She'll come back next year. Yes. She'll come back. <laughs> I see a lot of makers right here. There's so many of them. So many, I think my wallet's crying. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Awesome. Or Jadeus. Cosplaying as a sub zero. That looks pretty cool. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, it's uh, it's all foam with uh, wire mesh on the inside and some black elastic fabric. Oh, nice. You can see the, the cuts in that are done with a soldering iron. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I carved in like battle damage and uh, weathering. That looks pretty awesome. Thank you. How long did it take you to make that? Uh, about a week. Oh, okay. That yeah, is I wasn't commitment. working, so. That is um, commitment. One thing I might do is I might glue in some black fabric, just with the wire mesh. Okay. Just so you can't see my mouth inside. Okay. Um, this was like, I don't know what I was going for here. I think I was going for like some breathing holes maybe. Or yeah. Some kind of like symbol. Um, but yeah, it turned out really nice and I absolutely enjoyed making this. Yeah. What do you think, Miku, on a scale of 1 to 10? 11. <laughs> Looks ready to do a fatality on someone. <laughs> she had a sword earlier. She was picking up a plastic samurai sword. So you're gonna murder somebody on stage one of these days. You're gonna be like that actor Johnny Cage. No. <laughs> you're supposed to say no. <laughs> Don't say yes. Say no. She also wanted a pet, and I said no, <clears throat> like a fairy pet. Oh dear. It takes a lot of responsibility. You have to feed it, wash it, take it for walks. The dogs for life, not just for Christmas. Yeah, exactly. Dogs are for life, not for Christmas. So you've been at Sunnycon for how long? It was here yesterday as well, uh, Goro Majima. Okay, so how long have you been at Sunnycon? Like, how many years would you reckon? Since 2019 proper. Oh. Yeah, I think technically 2018, because I think I went 2018. Yeah. That was when I first met you. Yeah. Because I went on the Saturday, I think. Or was it the Friday? I can't remember. It was one of those two days. And I think I got off the same train as you there. Yes, I remember. Because um, yeah. we were trying to find that uh, we venue. We were trying to find it, yeah. We were trying to find it, yeah. Yeah, that's how we met each other. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Aye, aye. That must have been about six years, six years ago. Kind of scary. Yeah. But... For, for me, like, SunnyCon will always be, like, my convention home away from home. Yeah, that's a good way so to describe it. That'll never change, so. That is a good way to describe it, actually. Okay. It's, like, three days a year, but it feels so much longer than that. Yeah. What do you like about SunnyCon in general? Just, uh, the venues, like, it's a really great location. There's plenty of stuff to do. There's all sorts of panels. A lot of people are friendly. The staff have their heads heads on. Um, like, you know, it's just like it's such a great con. Well worth going. Have you ever been to any of the sunny cons? Sorry, uh, like um, other event conventions like this one. Um, I guess the closest we've got was MCM Birmingham. Oh! I guess that's the closest thing I can think of. Maybe Acme, 
in Glasgow. Um, that's kind of it. Um, but yeah, SunnyCon just has something that always keeps me coming back. You know, yeah. it's, it's just everybody here, everything around us. Uh, so yeah, can't can't get enough of it. Awesome. Do you have a social media as well? Yes. Uh, I am Forge of Deus. It's Forge of Deus, D-E-U-S, uh, on Instagram. So if you guys want to have a look at his awesome work, like his cosplays and his... Um, uh, you make um, these as well? You make props? Yeah, I make props. I do armor building. I do not do commissions, but ah. I give free advice. Awesome. So if you want free advice, go and follow this guy on social media. And do you have a YouTube channel? Oh, I do, but I haven't used it in ages and years. Ah, okay. Cool. Awesome. Might have to one day, though. Oh, Miku, are you bowing to yourself? She's bowing to herself. Is that normal, Miku? Oh, this is adorable. Here we are, we are going to watch a magical rosy panel. This is going to be so cool because last year um, this performer called Magical Rosy uh, was here. She did this, she did this amazing panel um, and I highly recommend we have a watch.
This is iron brew with cherry um, bottom See that? Really good blend of colours of orange and red. There's one point. Whoa. What a boost. If you are a massive energy boost, this is it. Ooh. Normally I'm not into iron bricks. Controversial, no. But this is actually really nice, especially with the combination of um, cherry popping bells. Really good combination. So there is a Vocaloid meetup where we're going to meet a lot of other Nikus and a lot of other characters from the game called Project Sakai, or it's known as uh, Colorful Stage. I just call it Project Sakai because that's what it actually originally is. Um, it's going to be really awesome. I hope there'll be loads of plushies like these. I've done the stats. Yo, so here is the uh, cosplay uh, panel that will explain how to do um, cosplays. Okay, so that's the full title, Cosplay Makeup 102. Ooh. This could be useful. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! And is everybody here tomorrow as well? Yeah. And here's a question: Was anybody here last year when I did the makeup panel? Woo! Thank you, reoccurring people. Yay! So this is our makeup panel. I did give it a really long-winded name when they asked me what I wanted to host and then realised that's a really long name that did not need to be that long. So I've shortened it to Cosplay Makeup 102, seeing as last year was 101. There we go. So welcome for coming. So what we'll be covering today is we're going to be covering brow blocking, colour palettes and wheels, nose contour, and then there's time for questions at the end as well. So if there was anything specific you had in mind, feel free to keep it in your noggin and we'll try and answer it as best as I can. So I'm a professional makeup artist at H Beauty in the Metro Centre. Um, I have been cosplaying since I was 16, so that's just less than eight years now. On and off, but solid for the past four. I have a degree in costume design, but I actually hate sewing machines with a passion. Yeah. I feel the nods in the room, I feel like we've all bonded now. So I make a lot of online content and I love sharing my con experience, so I do have a few blogs up. Not as many now because I've sort of pivoted towards doing panels and judging and things like that. But we've got a few, we've got a few blogs out there, a few posts, you know, a little bit of something. My favourite anime of all time is Fruit Baskets. Oh. I love it with a passion. It's so cute and cosy, I'll watch it a thousand times and never get old. And I would say that my range in anime is pretty far and wide. We love a bit of everything. <coughs> you know, dip, dip my toe in the water in a few different genres. Um, I am a dub watcher rather than a sub watcher because I am also dyslexic. 
um, and it goes way too fast for me to be able to read that. So I'm just kind of like reading it and then miss it and then it's like, they were brothers? <laughs> what? So we'll get started. Now that you know a little bit about me, we'll get started. So brow blocking, this is where you are completely erasing your eyebrow basically to be able to then draw new eyebrows on. Uh, you might have seen it on drag stars, that sort of thing. It's the art of erasing your eyebrow to then draw a character's brow on. So, step one. Also, if you were there last year, you would have remembered that um, the slides were full of photos of me doing each step, and I got way too self-conscious about that. So this year, we have Google Images eyebrow. Thank you, Google Images. Not sponsored. So, your step first is going to be brushing through the eyebrows in this upward motion. You're going to do this with a spoolie. I would definitely recommend getting a disposable one because you're not going to want your classic brush to be covered in glue, basically. So you're going to get a plastic disposable spoolie, sorry environment, and brush upwards with the hairs in that sort of motion there as the arrow shows. You're then going to take your glue and you're gonna literally smear it in every single direction. Up, down, left, right, diagonal, circles. You know, get every single hair coated in glue. The more glue, the better. What you're then gonna do is you're gonna brush back <coughs> through with that same spoolie in that same upwards motion. Boom, <clears throat> sorry. So that every single hair is coated with glue but all facing the same direction and the glue is evenly distributed. So what you're gonna do after you've then coated your first layer of glue, you're gonna get your spatula. So this is what one would look like. You can get them individually. You can get them on the end of makeup brushes, or you could go with the back end of your makeup brush if it's you know not a dual-ended one. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press against your eyebrow and pull all the way up. Now the glue should be still somewhat wet so that you're not pulling at your skin because you don't wanna create wrinkles, but you do want it to be smooth and flat to the head. You want to make these hairs as blush to your skin as possible. So over a few goings over with the spatula, you're then going to apply a second layer of glue. Whereas our first layer, we were going all over. This one, you want to do it in that same upwards motion so that it again creates that really flat, smooth surface. What this kind of does is fill in any little gaps that your hair has so that again, it's nice and blush and smooth. So step three, you're going to flatten for one last time. <coughs> with the back of your brush or with the spatula itself, you're going to flatten everything out, create a really smooth finish with your spatula, so that then when you are applying your powder or your orange concealer, as we've got to the next step here, it's then going to not show the hairs as much. So once it's dry, you're going to apply powder. I would definitely recommend a loose powder as opposed to a pressed powder. The finer, the better. You know, you're going to want it not 100% dry, but like 95% dry. And then once it's fully dry, you're gonna dust that off, apply another layer of powder, let that bake, let that sit for a bit, then dust that off as well. Then you're gonna apply your orange concealer. Now we're gonna use the orange because most people will have darker eyebrows than they will have skin. So the orange is gonna color correct the darkness of your eyebrows so that when you are then onto the next step, it can cover any darkness and you don't look like you've got the shading of an eyebrow. So this is our last step. This is what your eyebrows should look like at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to put another layer of powder over that orange concealer and dust that away. You're then going to apply your regular concealer or foundation. I would probably do it as <coughs> a layer of concealer, then a layer of foundation, and then another layer of concealer over the top just to really correct any of the darkness that is there from your eyebrows. Then you're gonna draw on your character appropriate eyebrows. So this is where if you've got a character that's always sad, you're gonna have your eyebrows starting higher up in the middle of the forehead going downwards. If you've got an angry character, you know, they're gonna do the opposite direction. They're gonna start there and go upwards. Or if you've got someone that has mini eyebrows, this is where you would put those in. So this sort of gives you that completely blank canvas for you to then customise to your character and to your comfortability with your eyebrows as well. It might be that you just want your eyebrows the same as they would be on a good day and you want them in that natural shape, but now you have a full blank canvas to be able to adapt to it. This is also a really good step as well if you've got a character with coloured eyebrows. 
because it's going to be much easier to get that colour base when you haven't got your own natural hairs underneath. <coughs> so, colour palette and wheel. So, this segment is going to be on the colour wheel. There we go, it was like it was planned. So, this is obviously a more complex colour wheel than your average six wheel one. But it does give you a sort of idea. So when you're looking at this colour wheel, there are three main areas in the colour wheel that you're going to look at. You're going to look at your complementary, your analogous, and your monochrome colours. So this one's a really good one for showing you those sort of areas, because you can see you've got your monochromes here, you've got your analogous, and then opposite, you've got your complementary. So here's a, a breakdown. Most anime characters, most manga characters, are going to have complementary colours. <coughs> so, for example, this was not intended, but Lucy from Fairy Tale. There we go. So we've got a lot of blue with a lot of yellow. This makes her stand out as a character. It means that she's going to not look like one toned character in a sea of other very colourful characters. You see with a lot of different cosplayers, they'll use those complementary colours to really make the main character stand out. Are you? Who are you worshipping? Who are you? Oh, you're worshipping yourself? Stop worshipping yourself. Stop worshipping yourself. Stop. you maniac. I'm just going to whisper because I don't want my wallet to hear. There's like loads of Mikus. There's always loads of Mikus. I need to whisper so that my wallet isn't crying. <laughs> my wallet should not know. What you need to do is release the one with a replaceable top so you can just keep it. You just buy the accessories for cheaper. <laughs> That's true. I see there's loads of your sisters. <laughs> the sisters among us. The Sakura one. And that is it for part two of SunnyCon. Um, there will be an after party uh, very shortly on this video, so watch out for that. Um, so thank you for watching the uh, video. Uh, if you want to see more of what I do, like SunnyCons and that's going to be cool related stuff, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a like and a comment down below, please. That would be super awesome. Um, and um, in this video, you can leave a comment uh, just to say what your favourite part of SunnyCon was. Uh, that's pretty much it, and I shall see you next time. Bye!